Following the death of former First Lady Rosalind Carter, renewed conversations about her husband's presidency. Here in Rochester, those conversations would be well served by at least a mention of Midge Costanza, a Rochesterian who served in the Carter White House. Today, we explore her role as public liaison and her local legacy. While in Costanza's in Webster, eyeing the signature sausage in the case, one might miss a remarkable signature on the wall. That of former President Jimmy Carter found on a letter to Anthony Costanza's sister, Midge. She loved politics. She just loved to, to do things. Rising in the early 70s to become Rochester's first councilwoman and denied the role of mayor, even though that title traditionally went to the candidate with the most votes, which she had. But Midge Costanza's work on Jimmy Carter's campaign caught his attention, earning her a top spot in his administration. Her brother remembers entering the White House upon her invitation. Like 10 minutes later, Ted Kennedy came in and sat down right next to us. Proof of her impact as Carter's public liaison, now stored and preserved at the University of Rochester by Autumn Haig and her team. A variety of material, letters, pins, photographs that she collected over the course of her career. Haig calls Costanza one of the most interesting women in Rochester's history, saying she carried forth the spirit of Susan B. Anthony. Jimmy Carter really relied on her to get that sort of perspective on a variety of different groups, um, women, um, certainly different ethnic groups, including Italian Americans and gay and lesbian organizations. So valued was Costanza by Carter that the former president reached out to her in her final hours. And Jimmy called her, they put the phone right to her ear. Kind of sentimental for me, you know, because I missed it by, I think, 15 minutes. They were always friends and always close in that respect. But while Costanza was noted for her passion in the White House, her brother most cherishes her warmth back at home. She was like my second mother. Everything she helped me with, you know. Sentimental again, because she was like my second mother, you know. I loved her. Mitch Costanza remained active in politics for decades, eventually setting into a prof uh, professorship professorship, I should say, in San Diego before her death in 2010. And it was in San Diego that just last month, the Little Italy Association there unveiled a public piazza in her honor. Piazza Costanza at the corner of Columbia and West Ash Streets, should you find yourself in San Diego and you need a touch of home.